Hey guys, what's up? This is Tim here with Test Demi live and direct today, September 13th, 2017. It's a Wednesday out here in Houston, Texas. What's up, people, man? We're back and we want to jump into the next video, which is going to cover, as you can see, tutorial 31 is going to be class variables versus instance variables. So you're like, Tim, what does that mean? I'm going to show you. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's go, baby. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. All right, so we're going to jump right into the code like we've been doing. If you guys have been following the last few videos on object-oriented programming, uh, we're going to look at the, the last concept when it comes to uh, object-oriented programming. Again, there are a lot of concepts, but I just want to cover a few of these basic fundamental, fundamental pieces when it comes to the Python programming language to kind of help you get started. Because keep in mind, when we get into Selenium, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, your knowledge and your comfort level of the object-oriented programming concepts is going to carry a long way because we're going to be building a lot of classes around page object models and a lot of the uh, test cases and the test uh, automation frameworks we're going to be building. Uh, so you want to make sure you're familiar with this and comfortable with a lot of uh, these class, uh, excuse me, object-oriented programming concepts and terminology. And the best way to do it is what? Practice, practice, practice. Now don't forget, I. Right? Uh, so let's jump into so we've been working with our computers class guys and what i did is i commented out the uh previous uh child class we created which was the tablet computers uh and it, which inherited from the computers parent class and i uh and i also commented out some of the actual objects that went you know that were created in other words how when we instantiated the actual tables for table tablet computers and also uh you know tablet computers we instantiated the class and created two objects from this particular class so what i want to show you when it comes to um, class variables versus instance variables if you guys remember um, when we defined this init method we actually also uh pass some arguments or you can call some instance uh, some instances or variables that they call them attributes they're all the same right so we have self.name self.color self dot operating self dot operating system those are your instances or your um your variables right uh uh that you use for this particular um, method, right? So when we go, when we had, uh, let me, I'm just going to delete this because I don't want to scroll down too long. Pardon me. Hope you guys all have notes. If you don't, go back and watch the video, please. All right. So let me go back here, right? So um, under our name, color, operating system, right? So when we uh, instantiated this computer class here, which, uh, which inevitably um, created this Apple object, we have to pass a certain number of uh, instances or variables. We had uh, name, Macintosh, color, green, operating system, iOS, right? Well, keep in mind, the self was automatically passed, right? Because Apple itself, if you don't understand that concept, again, go back and watch the previous videos. Uh, we went ahead and printed the actual instances and it printed out the actual values, right? So in this instance, now what we want to do is those are um, our method, right? Method instances, right? Uh, the instances, right, of the, the class instances, uh, which we're going to look at, but these are actually the instances on the actual uh, methods themselves. But the thing about these, these can always change, right? So I can change this from Macintosh. I can call this, you know, uh, I can call this whatever, ABC Computers. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter what I call it. So these, in, these variables or instances can always change. Uh, but when we come to our class, on the level of the class, we actually have our class instances right if you notice that we define these outside of our actual methods that we actually actually defined or created so what what is one thing that all computers have in common uh there are a lot of things you uh, of course you guys know but one thing i have in mind here is the monitor so we can have uh a class variable so this is our class variable called monitor and we can just say we can just call these uh flat panel monitors okay so flat panel monitors and of course, there are a lot of things you guys can do with this, but just want to keep it simple. And now this is our, we can go ahead and say it here. Um, remember, this is a comment. This is our class variable or instance variable, okay? All right. I would just call it instance. Either one is fine. Just keep it simple. Um, so we have our class instance uh here and the way you call this class instance again the good thing about this this can be 
this particular um, function, excuse me, this particular uh, class variable or instance, it's out, like I mentioned, it's outside of this uh, these actual methods. So you can use them for any of your objects. You can use for the Apple object, the HP object, or the Dell object in this case. Whereas where when we instantiated um, this, right, this particular Apple object, we were just using it and defining these particular parameters. But in this case, when we have the monitor here, we can just do, uh, we can do computers. So the computer class, as you can see here, computers class. Now we hit dot, and you're going to see the options. You can see we go down, and if you notice here, we go down, you see this function, right? Um, function monitor, right? And we go ahead and define that. And the way we want to get it to work here is we want to go ahead and print this, pass up, wrap this in a print function. And now when we go ahead and run it, you are, you're going to see what happens. Oops, what happened here? I might have had something. Okay, yeah, so I was playing around with some code earlier. So I have this computers.hard drive, right, which is, which is a different... Um, a different class instance I was playing around with um, but just show you guys so you can no notice how you look at errors it shows us an attribute error um, remember if you guys want to know how what these errors mean I created a video on exceptions I'll go back and look at that to give you a great explanation we have this attribute error you can see it says type um, object computers has no attribute hard drive so he said he has no clue what that is so I was playing with some code so you can either comment this out control forward slash or you can just delete it I'm going to delete it because we don't need it for now I'm going to go and rerun this, and you're going to see when it in passed. And you can see here that it, it printed out the flat panel monitor, which actually, like I said, that actually came from this class variable, right? So this is your class variable, and you can see here I have the notes here from our previous lectures, our first few videos, which shows these are called our instance variables, right? These are instance variables, and these are our class variables, right? So those are your difference. That's that's all this video is about. Class variable, excuse me instance variable so it's an instance the instance variable versus the class variable so I'll uh, go ahead and play with it you guys can create as many as you want uh, but I wanted to kind of show that difference between again the class variable uh, excuse me yeah the class uh, instance and also the instance variables right so go ahead and play with it uh, if you guys have any questions go ahead and uh, leave them in the comments don't forget to subscribe here leave any comments go ahead and like the video share let's get the word out right like I mentioned our goal is to get about 10,000 manual testers into automation testing and also besides that we want to uh, go ahead and make sure you subscribe to testdemi.com have some free tutorial videos go ahead and check it out testdemi.com to then I'll see you in the next video peace out testdemi.com one